Welcome to the science channel. Today we have two Barretts and I haven't seen too many people compare a 416 to a 50 BMG and this idea came from our good friend Art down from LA. He's my Armenian brother from another mother and he was nice enough to let me borrow his 416. This is the largest caliber you can have in California from Barrett or I think in fact any kind of uh, company. I don't know who else makes uh, 416. I only know Barrett making 416. And uh, you can have a Barrett 416 but not the 50 BMG. So this is the largest option you can have in California legally. I will put a link in the description for his Instagram page. If you guys do have a question and want to know where he got it, how he got it, how much it was and any um, any tips and tricks, you can uh, hit him up and he will tell you uh, all about the Barrett 416. I think they made it uh, because they wanted something that travels a little bit faster, longer, more accurate. That's the reason they made a 416 from what, what I remember reading about them a long, long time ago. And uh, the 50 BMG was supposed to be more for destroying armored vehicles. So it's not supposed to be actually a sniper rifle. On the 416, I think they were trying to use it as a sniper rifle. So the 416 is a little bit fatter on the left. Not huge difference, but you can tell it is, it is a little bit wider. The 50 BMG is a little bit skinnier but taller. Obviously, it has way more power than 416. I put some aluminum block down there. Just very, let's actually go look at them because there's some holes on them. I want to make sure I don't mistake the holes. Show me this one here. It has a 50 BMG sticking out of it. We shot this long time ago. But there's the round. It goes right in there. Looks exactly like the uh, 50 BMG. He added this to be California compliant. Uh, the featureless part. Just ready, ready? I'm ready. Sights, I don't know. I think he said it was the sighted in. As always, we don't know about our sights. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready too. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I hit it, right? Yes. <laughs> Man, this thing kicked me because I wasn't really stable on the ground. <laughs> okay, clear. Let's go check. No. There it is. <laughs> Yeah, remember these two were here and that one was there? This is a new one. The 416 got stopped inside. It did not, a tiny bit of a bulging on the back, but you can't even tell. So it stopped, it looks like it's about inch and a half deep right in there. It did not come out, so let's hit it with a 50 BMG. All right, I'm putting it down nice and gently so I don't scratch it for you. But for mine, la vida loca. I can promise you guys one thing. This rifle is not sighted in. <laughs> so don't have high expectation of me hitting it at the, um, hitting it. To be fair, I'm using uh, full metal jackets on both of them. So there we go. There you go. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Woo, woo. I told you, cabro, a little bit to the right. You missed. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> uh, cabrón, I see the rifle point to the mountain. Waste. Uh, Wasting ammo. Ammo and time. Okay, hold on to this. <laughs> it's not good anyway. If that don't work, I'm gonna... Um, let's see how good these iron sights are. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Since I do love iron sights anyway, who needs a scope when you got... I miss? Uh, yes. We're gonna be here all day. That one over there is side in. We moved to the other one. Caron, you can't just move the scope over. I know. It has to go with the gun. <laughs> ah. Don't embarrass us, we are scientists. <laughs> ready? I'm ready. Oh, God, oh, I okay, I brought this all the way down to work. Oh, there you go. Let's go check. That's the 416 and this is the 50 BMG here in the bottom right. Huge uh, crater on the surface. The bullet is right in there, I can see the back of it. But it did manage to play a little peekaboo with us and it has the, uh, the tip sticking out. So it did a lot more damage. If I would have shot the 50 BMG with the armor piercing or uh, incendiary round, it would have probably came out of this one, gone to the other one. But again, we're just shooting, um, we're shooting a uh, full metal jacket. Okay, now we're gonna go with the silver tip. Let's see what happens. 
Whoa. That's what you get. <laughs> You're right, I was going to the right. So I moved it a little bit to the left, it worked. Oh no, the Yeah, no, it went in right over here. Oh, wait. Oh, here's the bullet. Yeah. It broke. So some of it went over there. So it just hit this one and it stopped. And that was the, uh, oh, here's the rest of the bullet. Right there. So it did not go through the first one. Wait, but the damage was a lot more on the surface. I is that, yes. Yeah, it's hot. And that's that. So just one of these blocks are stopping the 50 BMG and a 416. And that's super impressive. With a little bit of a uh, tip of a 50 BMG showing a peekaboo at the end of this uh, first one. Let's go shoot something else. Let's see what kind of damage we get. That's very vamanos. Let me grab my gloves. Okay, we put uh, 10 rims of paper over there, 500 each rim, 5,000 sheets of paper, right? Yes. Okay. Lock and load. Woo, a cabron. Art, I want to really thank you for sighting in your scope, for zeroing it out. It's hitting almost dead end. Well, no, it is not almost. It's, it's a dead end, Look yeah. And that's why it's important to sight in your scopes. As a YouTuber, everybody knows none of our guns are sighted in. It's a common knowledge. If you are a tree hugger, I recommend you skip this part because you're going to cry. All I'm doing is adding more to the workforce and helping people have jobs to cut down trees. Right, Jasper? Uh, uh, yes. Yes. One rim, two rim, three rim, four. That's 2,000 sheets. 2,500, 3,000, 3,500, and here's the bullet. It takes about 4,000, ah, 4,000 and a finger burnt to stop it. I can't even pull it out, can I? Ah, right there. <laughs> it's banana. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> Let me put it up, hold on. Let me put it up. Right there. <laughs> That's so cute, Jasper. Yes. 4,000 rounds to stop at 416. Who needs the scope when you got iron sights? Okay. Fire in the hole. Huh. Woo -hoo. But I think it went a little bit to the... Let's go check. Having a larger mass, more power dumping into it, it gives you this kind of explosion. When inside both. There's a jacket stuck right here. So two. Oh, what? How is this possible? Oh, it's happened the number third, three. Uh, th uh, well, technically, end of three, only 1,500 sheets. So the 416 did a lot better. It, this bullet is a little bit heavier. It started tumbling in once it hit a target. So it's supposed to dump all its energy at whatever it's hitting right in the gecko. And that's what happened here. You see a massive explosion on the uh, first ones. And by the time it got to the third and fourth one, it started tumbling sideways. You can see right over here, it's keying in. Just where you, uh, can you zoom in here? It's, it's keyholing the paper right over here. So it's not going straight anymore for it to go further uh, further down. So it's stopping in the third and fourth, and here's the bullet. That's better, give me a zoom in on it. And the jacket got sliced out. It's probably hot. There you have it. Uh, paper! Really, really good results. I'm very uh, surprised. Yeah, it was just tumbling. That's why it wasn't going through. What else we got? Some um, some uh, I-beams? Yes. Let's go with the I-beams. Let's print this up. Okay. okay, we'll be right back after these messages. Ah, cabron, messages? Yeah, we got messages and sponsor. Uh, what was I saying? Sponsor, Grip6. Back again at it with the action. Got socks for you guys. Belts for you guys. Wallet. They have a special deal going on store-wide, 25% off. There will be a link in the description for their website. They also always send me a box full of belts and socks that I can give away for the people in the comments. All you have to do is go to their website, let me know what you like. They have a bunch of socks, they have a new 8-pack bundle of the socks. Jasperi, come here. Yes. Wait, that's not it. If you call today and place an order... Ha! I'm just sounding like infomercials. <laughs> oh, they send more wallets. Got oh rice. my god. So there's more wallets they sent. So I'm gonna be giving you a belt, wallet, and socks. And I use their own wallet too. It's pretty cool, you just hit this lever and then the credit cards pop out. See, you can put whatever you want, they're pretty slim. 
and durable. This goes in my pocket. So we got socks, belts. They got some really cool ones. I just saw this one, Jasperi. Stop going backward. Go forward. Grip6.com. You want it? Is this a California? Yeah. Okay, maybe some people don't want to deal with the California. I don't know. Ah, <laughs> no, California is a beautiful place. We have a lot of people from California. That's yes. why give me a zoom in on this one. This color was super nice. I just saw it. It's like a dark brown with the American flag. So I know a bunch of people are going to like that one. What else did they send? Oh, another light gray one with the American flag. Let me show you how it operates. So I use it for my um, holster. But the reason I love them so much, they're super simple. And I don't like when things get super complex. Is This tucks right in the bottom. You can choose your buckle, which one you want, whether if it's for um, a night out on a date or you want to go for a tactical gear and go out on the range. They have it for every occasion you want. So you choose your buckle and then you choose your belt. You slap in your buckle. goes right in there like that, super simple. And then this goes over. And this goes over like that. And you pull it goes right on the bottom right there and it's seamless there's no nothing sticking out you don't have the end of the belt flapping on the side and tucks right in do i look sexy yes <laughs> okay thank you so much okay grip six thank you so much for father's day special and i think if i'm not mistaken they said that they'll continue with that promotion for a while so check them out there's a link in the description whether you like to place the order or not, let me know what you liked out of their website. And as you can see, they sent me $2,000 worth of stuff. And I'm going to be giving all this away. And uh, one per person, one item per person. So don't put down a uh, bunch of stuff. Let me know what you like. And I will pick a random people, probably 20, 30 people to send the stuff to. Socks. They have cool socks now too. Beautiful. Yeah. All made in America. That's another beautiful thing. I love it when companies are all made out of America here, 100%. They don't outsource stuff. Right, Jess Penny? Yes, mega. Made in the USA! Make people work. Yeah. In America. Create jobs for people, for other fathers and mothers. And that's a beautiful thing to see. Uh, gloves. Those are mine. I bought them at Harbor Freight, I think. Or Home Depot. Which one was it? I don't remember. Grip six, thank you. Stand, um, stand, stand behind me in case it hits. It hits me first. Yeah, yeah, I right. Put my life before no, come yours. On. I go, I go in the front. Yeah, uh, I record it. I record right it. Behind me. In case something comes back, it doesn't hit you. Okay. 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 Four sixteen steel beams. There's four of them down there. But oh, where are you running? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. I'm gonna stay here. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know. I just joke, come on. Hopper. Where are you going? Where are okay. you going? I know for sure there's not gonna ricochet. Yeah. But uh, and nothing should come back. So we should Let's go back. see. Let's not be a chicken. Fire in a hole. There you go. See? And you're here crying for half an hour just to make a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Clear. <laughs> Man, that, that thing is sighted in pretty good. Yeah. Art, thank you again and again. So here's our steel beams. Ah, do we not have the bullet here? Ah, just Betty, look for a copper. Oh, what is this thing over there? Where? Here. Oh, that's it. That's the bullet. Wait, 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 wait. wait. It's got the cabron. Oh, it's melted. It's that's melted. Cabron, how the heck did you see it? I don't know, but I see this thing. I don't know how you see stuff so quick. How is that possible? Yeah, that's the bullet. That's the bullet. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> is it going to melt the plastic? Probably. No, I don't think so. Cabron, it's oh, melting yeah. again. <laughs> Look. Look, zoom in, zoom in. Wait, 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 wait. Zoom in and watch, it's melting the plastic. And now you know why these things are so hot. Show me the plastic now. Look, it got it locked down. Oh, it's stuck together. <laughs> Look. <laughs> and you thought I was joking when I said these things are hot? Look at that. There's your 460. Come on, show the plastic. Look at it. It's yeah. melt, yeah. Look <laughs> at this thing, cabron. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got so excited about the melting like kids in the candy store we forgot about to show the demonstration. Oh, oh yeah, sorry, sorry guys. Uh, so there it is, went through the first one, second one, and third one. And it's stop at the third one, yeah. There show the third stop. one, yeah. It uh, ionized, what is it called? Ionized, ionized, the metal. That's why you get the discoloration of the steel on the surface. And if you, just better, if you zoom in here, I don't know if the camera will see it. Look wow. at the colors it created on the inside. Why are you so big? Like a... Uh, well, first of all, that's what she said. But <laughs> <laughs> there, you see red, purple, pink, all kinds of colors. 
Okay, perfect. Let's compare the 50 BMG. What do you think is gonna happen to that? Well, go through all. I think so. Vamanos! Okay, full metal jacket. Same thing. Ready, compadre? I'm ready. Compadrito. Ah, cabrón. Uh, oh, good. Listo? Ah, uh, I'm listo. Estoy listo. Final. Perfect shot. Clear. Let me double clear it. Okay, let's go. Oh, look at this. Went inside this bottom part. Oh, no way. <laughs> look what happened here. <laughs> look at that. Touch. No, no. absolutely. I'm not touching that. I don't want to oh. get burned. Okay, it's not as hot. You know what? That, that 416 was uh, way hotter than this one. Even though the 50 BMG went lower, okay, you know what? So that you guys don't complain, we're gonna come up a little bit higher on the 50 BMG because some people are gonna say that's a harder, uh, harder surface over there. It's not fair. And I agree with you. Let's go a little bit higher. Ta -da -da, and see what happens. Let's go. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. Fire in the hole. Let's go. Little better results. There is the hole on the 50 BMG. Oh, it's hot over here. Two holes. That's the 416. It's a little bit smaller, obviously. They got the 250 BMG. Massive destruction on the surface. And see, this is what I was telling you guys about. The bottom was a little bit harder, and that's why I had, I had a feeling it didn't make you a chance. And these are the... Which one was it? These two. The bottom. These two. These two? No, this one and this one. Okay. Yeah, you're right, that's the red one. So you got these two right over here, 50 BMG. So went through the second one and... Stop in the third one. Stopped both on the, well, this was the 416. I think they maybe hit one over here, one over there. It doesn't matter where they hit. The question is, where did they go? Same result. The end results, it was almost the same. I didn't want to discredit the 50 BMG but the main difference that we saw on the 416 and the 50 BMG was the paper. There was no room for the bullet to tumble. Uh, this still has a little bit of a spacing between them, so maybe the 50 BMG had some time to curve to the angle. On, on the paper, they were stacked right against each other, so there was no room for the bullet to change course. So the 416 went straight forward. It's supposed to be more aerodynamic, and the 50 BMG being a little bit larger, it, it tilted, curved, keyhole itself in, and it slowed it down a lot faster. Now I'm a, I'm a true scientist, right? Yes. Can you see the progress from where we came from? Like we didn't know nothing, and now we are like a doctors. Yes. Who yes. gives us the paper? This is your doctor now. Where do we apply for that? Uh, the people that I don't give know. you the doctor says, okay, you had your doctorate in uh, aerodynamics and physics and uh, ballistics. But for here, you have to go to the university. And everything. It's not like Mexico. No, in Someone Mexico you go, you paper. go buy it in the street. You hey. can't just go on the street and buy it. I wanna be a doctor. And they say, <laughs> and they say certificate for doctor. <laughs> I got one doctor. This is Doctor Jasparito. Thank yeah. you very much. I got I got my certificate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you so much, Grip6. Please do me a big favor, check them out. They're always helping us out. Super nice guys. Like I said, 25% for uh, Father's Day special. And I think it's gonna continue going for a while. Preguntas? Uh, I couldn't find the bullet to show you guys on the uh, 50 BMG. Probably jumped up when some were crazy. Just but you couldn't find it. And that's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Happy Father's Day. See you guys later.